Are you trying to build the best team in Madden? Well, head on over to instantmuckcoins.com to avoid the packs, save some racks. Link is in the description below. Use code CC now for 20% off. Hey, what is going on, Madden family? We are here talking team standouts, which looks like it is coming on Wednesday. It could still be Friday, but it sounded like Wednesday to us. So we're going to predict. We're going to predict. Why not? Um, there's going to be a lot of them. We're probably going to get a lot of them wrong. Uh, I'm also not going to predict offensive linemen. We know that there's going to be some, like at least five, but I'm, I, I, I'm not doing that. So let's get into this. Let's have some fun. This might take a little bit here because I want to sort of go over uh, this all with you guys. Um, again, I, I haven't seen these teams play every game. So if I miss someone on your team, you're like, no way. This dude's playing way better. Uh, sure. We also have to exclude certain cards, which already have been upgraded. We have to exclude cards, which may be getting cards. And we're going to talk about some of that there. Uh, so for the bears, uh, I think, I think we're going to go Eddie Jackson here. Okay. Uh, no upgrades on him. Now Akeem Hicks was another one, but Eddie Jackson, no upgrades. I a statistically a good year at least. Right. So we're going to go there, uh, up next from the lions. I'm going by division. Uh, I picked, oh man, the yeah, old man, where are you? I picked TJ Hawkinson, right? I was like, oh, it would be a really, really good card, but he's already upgraded. So part of the problem with a, a team like this is I don't really watch a lot of Lions football, right? Barely any. <laughs> so like, if you go, you look through the stuff, I'm sure there's some other guys out there. I, I feel like Stafford has played well. But I, I, I don't know who you as Lions fans would want. I really don't know. Hawkinson was the only one that stood out to me, unless you're going to get one of the other receivers. I really, I really don't know. Uh, so instead of just throwing a name out there, you guys tell me. Lions fans, comment down below. Okay, Vikings. Uh, this is where we get to our first interesting situation. Justin Jefferson is playing out of his mind. Now, are they going to give him a ghost in zero chill, which is right around the corner or not? Right? So if he, if, if he's a ghost, he's a ghost. He's obviously not going to, uh, not going to go to team stand out. But if he's a ghost, cool. If he's not, he'll get a card here. He deserves a card either way. He's been just absolutely balling out. Um, would be really, really excited for it because his 88 overall card is not bad at all. It was not bad at all. Put him up to a 92. That's pretty good. Uh, the other card name, we should say, uh, was Eric Wilson that I saw. Um, who's been playing really good right here, right outside linebacker. I know linebacker, but still, if someone's playing well, they deserve, they deserve it, right? Uh, and for the Packers, this feels odd that we have to say this one. I'm really surprised he hasn't got a card <laughs> um otherwise zadari smith right un unless i'm missing it he hasn't got a card and he's got like 10 sacks so let's get him uh, a card here uh up for the rams next again not really sure where they're gonna go here uh, i picked jared goff on offense and then leonard floyd on defense i know leonard floyd actually has another card recently but He's having a pretty good year. So it's not going to be Aaron Donalds or anyone. I don't think they're going to do Jalen Ramsey. So we'll go with that uh, from the Seahawks. Again, I think all their names that I would have picked have already been upgraded, really. So here, uh, I picked Quandre Diggs. Free safety in the game. Having a decent year. Okay. Can't pick Jamal Adams or any of their offensive <laughs> weapons uh, at all there. For the Cardinals, again, I wanted to have a better pick here, but I went with Kenyon Drake. Uh, he, he would make a couple theme teams happy as well. Kind of makes sense. He's been playing pretty well. Not the most exciting card. Uh, maybe it's a really good card. Uh, for the 49ers, again, decimated by injury. So I had Fred Warner on here. Also saw that, and as I was looking through the numbers, that Kerry Hyder, I have no idea who that is, is having a monster here as well. So maybe he gets the card too. Would be super well deserved. The guy kind of out of nowhere added that 49ers theme team for the Giants. Uh, Leonard Williams is he's crushing. 
Uh, I know, again, he's got a high card already, but that's okay. It's worth it to me. Uh, for Washington, I want it to be Antonio Gibson. You want it to be Antonio Gibson, but Antonio Gibson got that team of the week card last week. If they, if he was getting a team standout, I don't think he would have got that card. So I think they're going to go with Alex Smith because he's Alex Smith. He's a great story. Played well. I think we're getting Alex Smith. The Cowboys, again, a lot of injuries in here. There's always a couple of these cards that could upgrade at each time. And uh, I'm thinking this is going to be one of them. CD Lamb has played really well. Let's give CD. Uh, he doesn't even have his card up here on the block. Cool. But CD Lamb's who I'm picking for the Cowboys and for the Eagles. Again, uh, I felt like you could have gone with like a Brandon Graham or someone like that. But uh, Miles Sanders. Miles Sanders was who I had in my head. We'll go with him. Okay. Probably wrong. Saints. Uh, I think this one is really, really obvious. Uh, unfortunately, I've watched <laughs> the Saints play. And I, and I mean it. Uh, but Trey Hendrickson. I, I don't even... I don't even know if he has like an upgraded card at all. It's 71. He's got like 15 sacks. I know it's not 15, but he's got a ton of them, right? He makes he's he's, he's he has to be it. For the Bucks. I thought, well, you could do like a Ronald Jones, but again, he recently just sort of just got a card, so I'm going to go with Devin White here. Uh Devin White needs a card. There. Uh, for the Falcons, the only player that I feel deserves it is Olakun, uh, right here. He would actually be a really good card, really fast. I mean, at 83 overall, he's 88 speed. Oh, could be a really good card. Definitely deserves it. He's played super well. That's about it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> right. Uh, for the Bills, again. I haven't seen a ton of Bills football. I don't really know. So I just pictured Davis White. I know he's having an okay year. I'm sure they have, they've got a lot of really good players, but they also have a lot of players that have sort of higher cards as well. So maybe sort of pushing in there. Maybe they're an offensive lineman team. I don't know. Uh, this is a very, <laughs> a very defensive heavy. The Dolphins, Xavier Howard. I believe he leads the league in interceptions. Doesn't have a card. Don't know why. But just give him a card. He's an 80. Okay, and then for the Patriots, we'll stick with the cornerback theme here. Uh, where is JC Jackson's card? I don't know. Gotta be coming. Uh, the Jets. Do the Jets deserve one? Not really. <laughs> but Quinn and Williams is playing well, so we'll give him a card. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Let me scroll my list here. I wrote everything down. Smart, smart. Uh, the Colts were another kind of odd one where I was like, oh man, we need quarterbacks. So maybe they could do Rivers. I, I, I don't know. Um, Justin Houston just had a big game. Another pass rusher. Offensively, they spread the ball around a lot. Jonathan Taylor. Uh, this one, I, I wasn't really too sure on. I kind of landed on three or four different guys. So if you're a Colts fan, let me know who you would like on there. Uh, for the Titans, I think it has to be Tannehill. I'm pretty sure it would be. Uh, I know there's other guys who are doing good, but Tannehill. He's got like, like five to one touchdown interception ratio. It's pretty good. Uh, for the Texans, I would have said Will Fuller, right? You would have said Will Fuller too. But I don't know about that anymore. Do we know about that anymore? I don't know about that anymore. Uh, so uh, to me, uh, I, I want it to be Justin Reed. That's who I want it to be. Maybe wrong. Maybe wrong. And for the Jags, ah, I've seen you guys mention this guy so often. And I think it's finally his time to get a card. It's taken forever. And I don't know why they've waited forever. Doesn't even have, I don't even know if he has a card, but James Robinson, the beast. Uh, Steelers again, so many options for the Steelers, especially on that defense. So I went with Minka here. It could be like one of seven people for them. Uh, Minka would be a super good card. Uh, for the Browns, I'm saying Baker. I don't know if he's getting the team of the week card. 
if he's not he should get this one i think he got he's got like a team builder or something we could just give baker a card i don't care where it is we gotta give baker a card uh for the ravens again kind of tough having a, kind of a rougher year for themselves so i picked matt judon um a lot of their other cards have already been upgraded which kind of puts you in a, a, a tough spot there so judon uh for the bengals the two names that came to my main one was joe burrow obviously he's the guy on the team but he's hurt and he's gone for the year now so i don't know how that's gonna work uh, otherwise, Jesse Bates. It'd be T. Higgins, too, if you really wanted to, to go that far. For the Chiefs, again, tough because a lot of their cards have already been really upgraded. <laughs> so, where do you go? I went with Daniel Sorensen. I'm sorry, teams. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, uh, similar to uh, the Browns, uh, Derek Carr probably needs a card. He's played pretty well this year. Um, I think he got the, the last team standout as well. I don't think we do that twice in a row. Um, but otherwise I think Eric Harris, uh, could get it. I don't really know who else has really played well on the Raiders. Sorry. Uh, the Broncos have two names here, Bradley Chubb and Justin Simmons. Uh, Bradley Chubb hasn't got a card in a while. Uh, he had a team of the week sort of upgrade and then justin simmons is just really good but he got it last time too so again i don't know how they want to go like the team is not very good they got this player is very good justin simmons is a phenomenal player so i don't know what they're gonna do uh and then the chargers again we're gonna end on the what could it be we want a justin herbert card we do is he a ghost or is he a team standout? He's one of the two, right? So if he gets a standout, he's obviously not a ghost. If he doesn't get, uh, if he gets the other other way around, right? So the only other name I sort of thought that was playing really well for them, again, kind of painful for them after playing New England yesterday. Uh, but Kenneth Murray probably could use an upgrade. 86 overall here be a pretty good card so those are my quote-unquote predictions again i'm expecting to get like 25 of them wrong but if you have a team that you like let me know who you want to see for your team be great take care i'm sure we'll find out on wednesday or maybe tuesday night see you guys then i'm out peace